one way to see the world is to go by car, taking your home literally on your back. In other words, by caravan. That may sound ambitious, but then there are few more confident and efficient enthusiasts than the caravan owners of today, with good reason, as you'll see. From all over Britain, more than 100 have driven an average 250 miles through the night to compete in the sixth road rally organized by the caravan club. Hill climb tests precede a further series of stringent tests held at Oulton Park. In the driving judgment test, the position of the bollards depends on the measurements of the competing car and caravan, and consequently varies according to the size of the entrant. Marks are awarded for completing the test in 16 seconds and deducted for touching one or two of the bollards. No marks are awarded if more than two are touched. Sixty-seven different models were included in this year's entry, varying from the smallest, eight feet long, to the largest, 17 foot six. Each driver, of course, knows his own caravan intimately, but even so, these exacting tests gradually begin to sift out the less skilled. For the braking test, Competitors were required to accelerate to a speed of not less than 30 miles an hour in a distance not exceeding 200 yards, and then break to a standstill after crossing a specific line. In recent years, ingeniously simple new devices, such as stabilizers to prevent the caravan snaking at high speeds, have been introduced and they get a thorough workout on the combined acceleration, driving ability, and fast towing tests over a mile of the Oulton Park course. In case you were wondering whether the competitors start on level terms, there's a handicap system obtained from dividing the caravan's weight in pounds by the car's engine capacity in cc's and multiplying by 100. And to ensure accuracy, they're weighed before the rally and at the end. And woe betide any competitor whose caravan has somehow lost weight. The following day, owners prepared for a concours d'élégance in which points were awarded for design, workmanship, condition, and even the practicality of the outfit. Notice, incidentally, the trend towards the caravan and car being in matching colors. With skill and maneuverability such as we've seen displayed, one can see why even the hairpin mountain bends and narrow passes of, say, the Swiss Alps hold no terrors anymore. In fact, they're as safe as houses.